Hello guys and welcome to Creeks and Camping. Today I am going to be getting a little bit chilly. Gone for, I forgot how many days, like five or something, maybe six, out to a place called Stanthorpe. And apparently there may be some snow. Now I'm from Queensland, Australia, and I have never seen snow personally and touched snow personally in my life. Maybe I'll find some yellow snow if I'm lucky. But... There may be a chance it snows up that way, up that way, because it gets real cold. So I've got a bunch of thermo gear that will be crucial to wear. And we should be, I'm going with the mother side of the family, we should be checking out some snow anyway. So even if it doesn't snow there, pretty sure we're going to a place where you can still build snowmen in the snow anyway. So that should be fun, looking forward to that. Get to touch snow for the first time, hopefully. So I am hype. Um, now, I did make a little post about it a while back, but I thought I'd do it in the intro. Now, I accidentally brought the wrong stick down. Camping stick the second. Uh, we got the basher stick from Trip 7, but the one I want to showcase, I had to go back down and get it, is beach stick the third. Now, my grandparents, they went to Rainbow Beach a few weeks back, and they were camping, and they brought me back this stick from Rainbow Beach. And since it's from the beach, I just thought, oh, I didn't think I needed any more sticks at the moment, but sure, I'll take it. It's the Beach Stick the Third. So here we go, Beach Stick the Third. It's got all these cool little bumps on it. Nice stick, nice stick. Good little walking stick. Um, it is a little bit, it's not the strongest, but I like it. Good stick overall. And it will not, probably won't be in this coming trip. It'll probably be the Cobweb Stick and the Beach Stick second again. Uh, just because... Caravan parks are a little bit... They don't really like you walking around with sticks, you know? Uh, when it's more bush camping kind of stuff, that's more when I can bring the bigger sticks. So I probably won't see it in this trip, but I thought I'd just introduce it to you, so you know we have actually got a new stick for those who don't see the community posts. But, um, yeah, that's pretty good. We are here, nice spot, now we're driving into town.
Well, boy, those were some thick ants. It's a sign. We stopped here to get firewood for the night. It's gonna be cold. Heading back to the campsite soon. So stay tuned. Alright guys, we are going for our first look around the campsite for today. I'm accompanied by the camping stick, as usual, out on another adventure into the Australian bush, and hopefully one day many other places. A bit muddy down here, but I'm seeing a way down these steps. Now, I'll be honest, this whole place I've been out today has been giving me a lot of Canada vibes. Don't know about you guys, I watch a lot of Steve Wallace, a uh, camping YouTuber in Canada. And this whole place, it just feels like everywhere he goes in his videos. It just gives me such Canadian vibes and I love it, especially of all the autumn trees because I'm a sucker for those. I am loving it out here. Look at this beautiful little area by the lake. Now, there is a chance, I think Friday, Saturday, they're saying there is a small chance of a bit of snow out here. But, um, it is a bit unlikely. I knew that from the beginning of coming here. But, um, yeah, we might not get snow. We might get some snow. But either way, we are going to a snow festival. I think it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And... That should be fun. So either way, there should be some snowy business. It won't be real snow there, obviously, but there might be some ice skating, that sort of stuff. So do stay tuned. And look at this little area. This is beautiful. So much wildlife. Never seen so much wildlife out camping. I wonder what else this site has for us. It's just day one. So, for day one, it's mostly just checking out the site and getting used to our surroundings, as I am going to be here for around six days. So, we may as well get used to the place. Even though it's not going to probably snow, I mean it might, but the fact that there is a probability of snow means it's going to get real cold. So, we've got the thermal gear packed, and hopefully staying relatively warm, as I said, we were out getting campfire just then, so hopefully we can stay relatively warm out here. Overall, it should be a good time. Stumbled upon this little sign. If the forecast is negative 3 Celsius on Friday plus Saturday, um, this guy's apparently going to try and make some snow here. Interesting. Alright, so I found this little trail up through here, and wow, look at the sizes of these rocks. Arguably, I probably should be wearing shoes because, um, yeah, I'm not too sure what happened to my foot earlier, but it's all scratched up. It's just, there's a trail through here, so it should be fine. Look at the colours. This is magnificent. Look at the size of that thing. That's so big. Big rocks everywhere. I thought there was a lizard on the top there. No, it's a, it's a branch. Now, I appreciate any of you all who stick with me, stick with me through these videos. I don't upload all that much, but when I do, I try to make the videos as interesting as possible. And I'm always experimenting with new ways to make them interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy following along with my little adventures through nature with my camping sticks. Speaking of, I brought more than just this camping stick for this adventure, but more on that later. Look at that. <laughs> now, 
Now, I ain't no rock climber, but I consider myself a half decent climber, and I kind of want to go up there and check things out a bit, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's all been burnt through here. I've been doing some burn-offs in the area, I guess, getting ready for the summer, as there is a El Nino, I think it's called, which is arguably causing a bit of heat and a bit of issues. This has been probably one of the warmest years of winter I've ever experienced, but it is going to be real cold out this way nonetheless, so that'll be interesting to wake up to. Hmm, I want to get on top of that big rock. Nearly there. Here we are. And look at that view. Well, you can't really see much of it, but you can see the lake from up here. And a lot more rocks, but I won't go any further. It's quite the drop down as is, and we don't need any complications. Up here looks like a nice spot to sit and talk away from society, if this wasn't far enough out already. Uh, I don't think I'm getting up there. This will do. Ah, beautiful sounds of nature. It's a bit quiet at the moment, but um, I said I'd talk to you about the sticks I brought on this trip. Now, obviously, we've got the camping stick here. But I also brought Beach Dick the Third, even on the intro I said I wouldn't be. But uh, things change, and as you can see, this is a lot more of an open area than I originally thought, so I did bring it. I've also brought Beach Stick the Second and the Mummor Stick, that's also with us. And I found some of the remains of Beach Stick the First after episode 9, where it snapped in half, and I thought that was all. I thought that was the end of it, so I chucked it in the ocean. Um, I don't know if I said it in episode 9 that I had another half, but I do. And I still have it, and I've decided I'm going to find another half of a small stick here, tape it together, and revive it. And that's the only time I've ever doing it for one of these sticks. But um, if one of these sticks snap in half again in the future, I won't be reviving it. It will stay dead and out of this little camping series I'm doing. And... Um, Comment below your favourite stick. I've got quite a few now. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd bring back Beach Stick the first and just see how it goes again, just to give it a bit more screen time before it ultimately gets killed off again, as it was only in two trips. And you never know. I could keep it around for another five years or more. I've already had this one for nearly two years. It'll be two in this September. Anyways, uh, enough of that talk. I need to descend down this rocky cliff without meeting my unfortunate demise. Look at those cloud formations. That looks cool. It's kind of like a bit of a wavy sea in the sky. I'm trying to get a bit of a view from the sunset out here. Sun's setting quick and the night air is definitely coming in. Uh, I've got a fire back at the campsite. Um, I'm over at the office here because uh, I've got that Starlink Wi-Fi and I, I think I might just have to invest in that. Seems worthwhile. Um, for anyone wondering, I've got the hat here again. Uh, with all my badges from the 7th trip and I'm hoping to collect another one for this one. Nope, oh, there's someone. I'm also camping out here with Mother's side of the family, for anyone who was wondering who I was here with. Definitely getting a bit icy out here as the sun goes down. Uh, so, schedule for tomorrow is I will be um, going around and trying to find a, another bit for Beach Stick the First to connect with. Pretty sure I brought tape. If not, I'll just fix it up when I get back. And um, I'll be looking around more of the campsite, hopefully. I'm um, pretty sure I've only just scratched the surface of what I can see, but the sun is going down and it's getting cold, so... 
probably head back to the site. It's nice and warm. There's some more trails up through that way near my site, and there's that path that goes all the way down there. So I will have to check that out. But my phone's nearly dead. It's getting cold. So I'm going to probably go get ready to tuck in for the night and sausages on bread for dinner. Not the most original thing tonight because we have just settled in. But um, this is the last you hear of me for today. Um, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Man, I love that lake. It's starting to rain and boy, it is like ice cold. That it actually like stings, I feel like a mini bullet piercing you when it hits you. Wow. Oh, it got me again. I think I'm gonna have to head back to camp. I've just been trying to squeeze all the Starlink Wi-Fi I can for today. Because once I head back, I will be out of reception for the rest of the night. Haha, -ha, look, there'd be light. I am currently going to the showers and it's a little bit chilly. Oh, I've missed the path, can't really see where I'm going. Um, oh. Alright, so showers are there and it's definitely dropping the temperature, but showers are warm at least, so that's a bonus. I will, um, it's starting to rain a bit, so I'm gonna, you know, hurry it up. because um, the wind's probably being in the way anyway. So I will see you guys tomorrow for day two and we'll check out the campsite. Um, good night for the night. I was coming out here to get some videos of all the fog of the lake, but in the time it's taken me to go to the toilet and get a nice warm tea going, it's literally all lifted everywhere. You can still see it up in the distance, but this whole area, you could not see like two steps in front of you. That's how foggy it was. If it comes back tomorrow, I'll try to get up a bit earlier to capture it, but yeah, it just, it just um, disappeared. Saying how quickly it disappeared, like I walked inside for about a minute, come back out, gone. Oh, my hat's gonna fly away. It is a bit windy, and oh boy, it's cold. It's definitely cold. And we have got Beach Stick the Third with us. As I said, it came along on this trip, and oh, it's just like a really icy, cold wind. It's got like mixtures of water droplets flinging into you. It's freezing, but look at this. Look at this. Look at all the fog in the distance. That's, that's amazing. Today, planning a bit of a bush walk and to go for a drive and check out one of the campsite down that way. But uh, the moment I'm going to get inside and stay warm because it's starting to rain a bit again and the wind's blasting that icy cold water into me. And it's freezing out here. And the only thing I've got on really is my thermal jacket. So I might need to dress up a bit more before I re-attempt heading out here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
This is the camp kitchen. Get some gloves here, just have to take them off to record because it's kind of hard. My tea. Um, there's a TV in here. Look at all the trees down there. Alright, so I've had enough of battling these icy cold winds. It's time to get warm. I've been out here for about three hours now, and this cold and I can't feel any part of my body anymore. Whew, nice spot though, would highly recommend it. this bridge. 
This is cozy. Nice little restaurant. I like that house up the back there. Kind of live there for a bit, that's nice. Back at the campground, going for a, a walk up a mountain. Before I head off, just checking out the neighbouring campsite to our camp. Um, ready to do a bit of bit of hiking. Uh, I don't know how steep the terrain is going to be, so I guess we will find out together. So we'll take the camping stick and let's, let's hike. What a view. Woo! This terrain is treacherous, to say the least, but a camping stick, which is technically a walking stick, is real helpful. And my boots for this tough terrain. Carefully. Does it? Rock. <clears throat> Steep. Ooh. 
Ooh. Quite the rocks up here. The arrows point that way. Beautiful. You can see the lake down there. It's quite the hike and it's not over yet. Rocks. Mountain. You. My hat's gonna blow off. It's windy up here. I wonder what's up this way. Something tells me this is gonna be a good view. And I love a good view. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's worth a climb any day. That's where I'm camping down there. Look at the clouds. It's beautiful. I could stand up here for hours. There's the moon hiding amongst the clouds. Imagine camping up there. Imagine the views. Can you hear the frogs? Currently descending now. What a view. That was totally worth it. That's a lot of mosquitoes. Stay back, beasts. was an incredible walk and day two is coming to an end so I will be heading back to camp and the fire will be going getting nice and warm uh, having some chicken for dinner so that's dinner but um it's been a good trip so far and tomorrow there is a festival on so do stay tuned for that because there is more stuff to come should be fun dang it that's gonna be a pain to clean off. <sighs> Great. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be sitting here for quite a while, you could say. They are everywhere. Alright, so we have got about a half hour of sunlight left with us for today so we've got one last thing that i wanted to do or well, technically two things that i want to do before today's sunlight ends and that's finish exploring this entire 
campground and the last bits are just down here and second is find the other half to attach to beaks uh beach stick the first which i will also find down this way now i've got the moonmore stick accompanying us now and if you want to know the backstory before i um for the reason i named it this go watch trip 11 and you might find out something new and also see some cool camping places and taco making now oh look at that big new lake should be interesting let's check it out more of these rocks Ugh. i'm getting a bit of a runny nose i think it's all this cold which makes sense oh, look there's a ducks in the water trying to think which way i go that way or that way this way does look more interesting what's the sign say Please give way to oncoming traffic. Wait here if vehicle approaching. Yeah, makes sense. Typical stuff you'd expect in... Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? See, this is why we come out and do these trips. The moon high in the sky. Because come out here, we do these trips because look at the stunning landscapes we get out here. Now, I live in Australia, Queensland. And I've only ever filmed these trips in Queensland, but one day, me and beautiful partner, when we're out of school, we want to go, we want to go explore and travel around Australia. And then, after that, we want to travel the world. And if you guys want to support us on that dream, do consider sticking around. And in the apparently white subscribe button now, I don't know why they did that, but alright. See the water? Going over here, beautiful sunset in the background there. You can see all the campers up on this side here. It's quite the walk, but it is also quite the view. It's good. Where I want to camp the most is Canada. That's easily my favorite country. Second on the list would probably be Japan. Uh, and um, I do want to go there one day. Um, I think it'll be fun. This whole place, as I said, it reminds me of Canada. Just the pine forest, the autumn trees, uh, from what I've seen from videos, it's quite similar. And I quite like it. But you know what would be something? Camping up on that big thing in the sky. It may look small, but it's anything but. Okay, so it looks like we have a split path again, and I think I'm going to take this one. That one just looks like, you know, like you can see, you can get an idea of what that campsite will be like, just from looking here, so not too interested in there, but, oh wow, look at that. Look at that, that's, that's amazing, I love being out of nature. Now, what I am interested in is what is down this way, so, yes, the sun's setting, it's getting dark and real cold. But um, I just have to see what's down here, and keeping an eye out for little stick attachments. Pretty sure I look like some caveman walking down here with this stick. But, ah oh well. I wonder what's down here. I wonder if it's a little campsite or an observation point. Who knows? Oh, we're about to find out. Got another sign. There looks like a house. There's not really anywhere any of those signs pointing to that way, so I'm guessing we don't go that way, but this apparently seems to go to a dam, or I'm guessing the dam wall here, so let's, um, you know, we'll speed things up a bit, we'll get a bit of a run going, and I'll hopefully warm myself in the process, so let's go. Oh, look at this spot, I think this is a camping spot. Oh, it is. How nice. Would it be to camp in here? Nice view of the lake, you can see it all, you're right on the water's edge. Man, look how nice of a spot this would be. You really, it, it just, you, you can't get better than this. This is hands down, probably one of the top spots you can get while camping. Love it. Let's this trail go. Oh, oh it's a bit steep. 
It's like my little hiking pick. Ooh! Look at that. I'm guessing this is where the path goes. I'll go check that out. Sure, why not? Hope there's no signs back that way saying you can't come this way, but you'd think they'd put one there as well, so I'm assuming all is good to go and check this out. And plus cars drive in you drive down this way, so it might might be another campground, I'm not too sure. This definitely looks like where they pump the water out from the dam here. Kinda looks like a little fishing hut, you know? But um, yeah. Oh, what's that on the path? Is that a kangaroo? Oh, yeah, I think that's a kangaroo on the path. You can barely see it with the camera. Look at this. Oh, there it is. Kangaroo. Can you guys see that? It's a bit hard to see on the camera. Camera. I'll try to get a bit closer. He don't look like a big one, so we should be fine. I think he's gonna hop away. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. Whoa, look at that. That's beautiful. All right, my fingers are literally about to freeze off in these temperatures right now, so I'm gonna start heading back and I will update you guys when I find a stick to go with the, um, let me just get it out of my pocket. The original beach stick here. Put the other half. All I need is an alternative. Put those up together and get that one back. But wow, take your looks at that. That's beautiful. All right, I'm back at this really cool campsite, and I think this is the spot where I'm gonna look for my attachment because it's a real cool looking spot you can see the lights of the other side of the campers in the distance what is that in the water concrete no that's the rock sounds like there's people out on the lake yeah there is you can hear them wooing they can probably see my lice and they're wooing at me now i'm looking around how's this one here feels probably pretty solid you know what i reckon we use that one there we go Touch that. Perfect. And there goes the sun. Oh wow, it's just like gone insanely dark just like that. Once the sun goes down behind that mountain, it's just dropped. So definitely should head back to camp because we don't want to be stuck out at night. And my fingers, I'm pretty sure, are about to drop off from the cold. So um, this is it for me to today. Then I hope you're enjoying so far and, well, you probably see me later because i'll have a shower and uh, i might give you a little update on what's happened since if anything does happen all right shower time light off in the distance um camp is down in there now uh it's not as windy tonight thank goodness but well oh, i think it might be a bit colder than last night so i just want to get in the shower get this over with and get back to the heated caravan but this is my last update for tonight, so I will see you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching so far. There's a spider climbing up my toilet. Uh, I mean shower. So my thongs had a bit of dirt on them, and worst part is, not even that, my stuff fell on the floor when I was in the shower, and my shirt that I sleep in got completely soaked, so i um, That'll be nice and warm tonight, I'm sure. Morning world. Definitely a more sunny day than yesterday. But... Still very, very cold, so I'm going to try getting some sunlight and warm up because it is freezing out here. Uh, festival is today, and we should get to see some fireworks tonight.
what a lovely morning. Probably should have got my gloves though. Nice to have the sun out though. Ooh, look at all the frost. All the grass is white. It's pretty frosty to me. I'm gonna sit under here, snag some Wi-Fi for the morning and check the world. And then go back up and get warm again. And oh, you can see all the mist on the lake back there, that's cool. Beautiful. Wow. Do I dare? I dare. Yeah, this looks safe. Totally safe. This is perfectly safe. The creaking makes me so comfortable. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's enough for me. I'd rather not fall to my death. Oh, it's stuck to me. Oh, my thing fell off again. Off my hat. I need to get that on in a better way. Now, I will say, to come out here willingly into such cold temperatures, it does take a special kind of person, because you've got to be prepared, and I'm talking prepared, because you need to be ready for such low temperatures, we're talking possible snow, like, you need to have the thermal gear. Um, if you are planning something like this, what I would recommend is gloves, 100% bring gloves. You might not think about it, but trust me, your hands will feel it. Uh, another thing is definitely bring the thermal gear. I've got um, under the here, I've got a shirt and then another thermal layer underneath the thermal jacket. Underneath these long pants, I've also got some um, thermal pants and thermal boots, thick socks, uh, a beanie. For me, I just wear, oh, I just wear my hat. It does the job fine. But yeah, I would recommend a beanie as well. I do have one just in case. Um, and you're definitely going to want something warm to sleep in for the night. Now, I've got a caravan, but unfortunately the heater broke last night, so definitely bring, don't just rely on a heater, definitely bring a whole heap of warm stuff, like blankets and all that, because you're going to want it. warm drinks, highly recommend, I'll have a good tea, it just warms the soul up for the morning, or coffee works too, hot chocolate, whatever works. Uh, I definitely recommend bringing all of that um, for your winter trips if you're going somewhere where it goes down to the negatives because it is absolutely freezing and if you are able to start a fire, definitely start a fire. Whew. Anyways, I'm going to see what's down in there, so let's take a look, shall we? I can't film with my glove on. So I've got to quickly go with that. Now it looks like a trench. There's all these like little trenches around the place. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, it's just another little trench. I don't know why these are here. Obviously water flows caused it, but who knows? Who knows? Alright, well. I'm gonna, we're having the damper for breakfast, so I'm gonna have that, cook it now, and around lunch, leaving for that festival, and yeah, it should be good, so stick around for that, and hope you're enjoying it so far. Oh, just trying to warm up with Beach Stick the second here, 
on a warm up by the fire. Real cold, it's a bit smoky. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. So, you know when you're cold and your body does like a random shiver all through your body and you just do this shake? Yeah, that happened at like the worst possible moment, causing Beach Stick the Second to plummet into the fire. Because my hands are like frozen shut, I couldn't move them quickly. If you know the feeling, you know the feeling. So, overall that wasn't too pleasant, but it's fine, I got it out. And I have no idea where I'm walking. I think this is back to that trench. But, um, it's starting to warm up a bit now. Enough that I can somewhat walk around a bit longer without a glove on. But, still need a glove. Because it's starting to frost up again. So I'm going to go back into the sun. That was a close call. Alright, I'm back out here at the lake we walked over yesterday at the afternoon. There's that lovely camp spot, just across there, that I would love to camp there one day, that, it's an amazing spot. Now the rocks kind of go down here, so I'm going down, checking things out, and seeing what I can find in this spot down here, if there's anything interesting. You can see the wind, it's making many waves against the rocks here, so that's cool. I'm trying to keep my gloves off, but today is it's just freezing. It's a windy day, and that's not good, but you can see. So that's the path I went down yesterday, or would have gone down if I went the whole way. You would have ended up at that campsite over there. Now, thinking, I'm going to go check up, up in there. Down to flowing water. That's where we walked over yesterday. Today, I've discovered a little waterfall. I am just going to put my stuff down on the ground here because I already know my hat's going to blow away in the wind. For this, isn't this nice? Ah, well, I've seen this stuff out here, and oh, even with my hat down, the wind is still got a hold of it. So I've got the beach stick, the third on top of that. That's cool. Look at that in the sunlight. Ain't that beautiful? Sounds like the people from the site over there are leaving. Yeah, I can see the glint of the car through the trees. I might have to get my gloves back on soon. These temperatures are unbelievable. I don't know how people in the snow do it. Got beach stick the second here after its little incident in the fire. And I'm going to, once again, put it in a probably a stupid situation. But I'm going to see what happens if I let it flow down here. So I'm going to give that a try. Now look, the way I see it is things can only go good bad or worse. So, um, those three options. Let's hope we get the good one at least. Let's go. Ah, oh, well that was pretty rubbish, wasn't it? I really don't want to put my hands in that water. It's going to suck. Oh well, give it a cleanse. It's got all coals on it from the fire. Oh, might have to give it a bit of a nudge. Oh! Oh! That's cold my hands in for good luck, eh? Alright, let's 
going downstream. I thought the water would actually be a bit colder than I thought. But maybe it's just because my fingers are frosting. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. And it's come to the shoreline. Alright. Let's put it here. See what happens. These little sections here. Alright, it's just gonna get stuck. I mean, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Alright, let's try here. Alright. Well, we don't want it going down the waterfall probably, because then I don't think we're getting it back. Okay, there it goes. Into the plant. And. Oh no, out the plant. Where is it going now? Somewhere. It's a fun little rapids ride, isn't it? Oops, in my shadow. And it's gonna get stuck over there, I think. Oh, it might make it. Might make it. Oh, is it actually gonna go down? I think it is. Oh, look at that go. Look at it go. Oh, it's going all the wrong ways. No, actually, no, never mind. It's gone the right way. Um, it's going right down that stream. Oh, is it gonna get stuck? No, yes. I think it might, actually. Okay, yeah, it is. Wait, no, no. Yes, no, maybe, yes. All right, I'll give it a nudge. Down the fall it goes. It's like a little boat ride, this is fun. And yeah, we're not going anywhere else. We're getting stuck in a little whirlpool here, so. I'm gonna grab that. Where should we put it? Yeah, I reckon we put it right here. Where's that gonna go? Down? Down to the waterfall, probably. Do we let it go down the waterfall? How's that gonna go? I reckon it's gonna get stuck on that. Oh, the wind's picking up. There goes my hands. Oh, they're frosting up. Oh, no, no. Made it through. All right, we're going to the waterfall. I'm gonna get down the bottom, just in case. Um, let's not lose it. Oh, no. Where is it? Oh. Survive the great Niagara Falls, or at least from a stick's perspective. Because I'm an idiot, let's put the big one in and see what happens. Surely it won't go down, right? Oh, is it actually gonna? No? No, I don't think it will. Yeah, I kind of want it to though, so what if I just give it a nudge in the right direction, eh? Come on! Yeah, that's right. yeah. Be there. I need to get these gloves on like right now before I frost up. My hands are like gone red. Boom! No. Oh, just as I start recording it, it starts flying off into the water. Get out. My hair's blowing everywhere. Everything's wet. Cold. So I'm gonna head back to camp where it's warm. I'll see you guys next at the
Frogs. Had to go out a fair bit. So the music isn't in the background because that's copyright. Uh, I've had to keep switching which hand wears what glove so that I can still film and try to keep the hand relatively warm. Once one hand gets too cold, I switch it over. Repeat. It's just kind of what I'm working with at the moment. Uh, there's apparently some lantern thing coming out and fireworks as well and maybe a light show I guess we'll find out but definitely fireworks somewhere Alright, we just got back. No lantern thing apparently. Don't know what happened there. But it's, uh, it's quite cold. A lot of neighbours now, unfortunately. They're a bit noisy. But uh, we won't really be here for the rest of our time anyway. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Because Saturday and Sunday is more stuff on. You'll see. See that orange light across the lake? Yeah, somebody got the good spot I was talking about. Lucky them. Thought I'd give this a bit of a clean after the fire incident earlier, but that stuff ain't coming off, but... Oh well, that'll do. Really not looking forward to opening the store. It's gonna be freezing, but either way, I will see you guys tomorrow for a new day. Let's do this. Huh? What's going on here? Can I stop that or? There we go. Don't know what happened there, but it's causing quite the whirlpool. Morning, well, I can't really talk because unfortunately last night 
before I went to bed I got a bump in my throat and now I have woken up with a very sore throat and it is stopping me from talking which is why I am talking a bit weirdly so um, I'm going to try them talking best I can uh, I'm going up to see the sunrise um, yeah look too good I'll say get a sore throat now I'm out. Worst part is, I can eat, drink, do all that just fine, but it only hurts when I talk. That's the one thing I need to do right now. But you know what? I'll just let the scenery do the talking for you. Look how white the grass is. And I'm trying to figure out what happens if this sore throat takes away my voice completely for the rest of the trip. Uh, I'll figure something out. But, um, yeah, well, I'll have a voice. I'll just let you know I might not be able to talk. I might have to do a voiceover for the rest of the thing if I'm unlucky.
well, that was cold. I, uh, I've got some throat lozenges and stuff, so that's helped with their throat today, so hopefully that's all good. Um, we got even more neighbours when we got back from the stuff today. Oh boy, they're interesting. Very loud. Like swearing a lot. A bunch of Looney Tunes. Tonight will be an interesting night. Anyways, I'm just been sitting by the fire, uh, getting warm because yeah, it's cold, and I'm just getting ready to clock off for the night. So I will update you guys when I have a shower. Usually around 7:30, I have it because I find that's when the least people are out. And once again to the showers we go. Honestly, these showers are like the highlight of each day, purely to the fact of how warm it is. Like, it's the warmest part of the day. How can you not look forward to that right now? Because, oh, the one thing I want right now is just a bit of warmth, you know? It's freezing. Way too cold to have this open. Who on earth opened that? You can definitely tell by the smell that they've got a lot of chlorine in the water. It's also very steamy in here. Oh, there goes my camera. Ooh, very steamy. I like my water hot. So I'm currently showering with the door open and I'm on a mission to try get the entire room to warm up so that when I turn it off I don't freeze to death. Also, skin's coming off my pinky there. Or well, off some finger, I don't know where it's come off. It came off somewhere. Shower is full blast on hot, no cold at all. But it is still cold, not as cold as bearable. Very steamy as you can see. But um, yeah, quite hot. Camera's fogging up. <laughs> They'll fog up again soon though. Also, oh, someone left their soap. It's been there the entire time. Over uh, every time I showered, I've been in this exact room every single time. So uh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to salvage what clothes I can in here because I like to try wear most things two days in a row just to make sure I have backup clothes just in case it does really get cold. Um, this was mostly a success. I did warm up the room quite a lot. Just close that door. So um, yeah, now I'm going to head out uh, in the morning. I might be getting up at five. I don't know. Don't. I'm not saying I will, depends on how I'm feeling, my throat and all that. But I'll get up at five, maybe, and climb to the top of that mountain from earlier and see the sunrise. So, let's hope all goes well for that. Oop. Jumper got caught on the door, and, uh, Another day of festival stuff tomorrow at the same place as today. Um, not too sure what I'll be doing, but I'll find out. Probably won't be too much, so um, if I don't do the mountain walk tomorrow morning, tomorrow will probably be a much shorter day. But I'll leave you guys here for tonight. I uh, really do hope you're enjoying so far, and catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, world.
hunt. Again, we are out getting firewood for the night. Ran out, getting cold. Sun is setting. Unfortunately, uh, in the morning, I wasn't feeling too good for throat, so I didn't go for the walk. Ended up sleeping until 8. Feeling a lot better now, though. Just a bit of a headache. Nothing, a bit of water. Don't fix. Uh, we went down some logging road and we've ended up in the middle of nowhere. So that's always nice. Oh well, it's peaceful out here. Nothing but the sounds of nature. And the chainsaw in the background. But minus the chainsaw, I could live out here. I want to know what's on the other side of this hill here. Uh, a bunch of nothing. Yeah, right back this way. Don't want to get lost out here. No service at all. Not too sure what those footprints are, but something's been out here. This is the path we just drove up to get up here. It's a bit bumpy, but did the trick. From what it looks like, this road hasn't been driven on in a very, very long time. As you can see, these little plants just growing on it. And apart from our tire tracks, I ain't seeing any others at all. Alright, today's probably been the warmest day out of all of the days so far, but as the sun goes down, uh, the wind is starting to pick up and it's causing things to be a bit cold. My throat's starting to clay up again, but I've got stuff for that in here. Um, yeah, there's my camping spot in there that I would have liked to have one day maybe um, yeah it's pretty good now I've been down here by the lake just admiring the beauty because tomorrow is my last full day out here and I've got to be honest this is probably my favorite trip so far this place is just absolutely amazing. I love it. Look at that. There's all the ducks out there. Now, tomorrow um, is supposed to rain, but if it doesn't, I will be going on another hike up a different trail and checking out that. I think it leads to a waterfall. And the sun is trying to poke through there, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got planned for tomorrow. And nothing else. So I'm just out here enjoying the sights while I can. Look at the moon, up there, it's amazing, I think it's a full moon tonight. Alright, well, I've been down here recording a few things for um, a separate video, and I think I'm going to go up now, chicken for dinner, I'm going to go by the fire, my throat's been a bit eh, because of this cold wind, so I'm going to head back up to where it's warm. And I will see you guys again when it's shower time as usual. And I look forward to the last day tomorrow. More or less, because I kind of don't want to go. It's really nice out here, but you got to head back 
eventually so what I'll do hopefully we get the hike in tomorrow before we leave otherwise um, tomorrow will probably be not too much Got to deal with the noisy neighbours for another night because they're still here unfortunately but probably won't be hanging around the campsite too much tomorrow because they're noisy so that's fine because this spot I found here is quite nice. I'll see you guys at shower time. To the showers I go. It's definitely a lot cooler night tonight and I guess there is a bit of a bonus it's not windy that's something but the shower the shower will be warm just realized I had my camera facing me there whoops there's my one just been filming a bush life video in here. If you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my bush life channel, and you will know what I'm talking about. But anyways, guys, this is Larry, Larry the pet rock, I guess, that uh, me and beautiful partner made for our first year anniversary. So, pop that down there for tonight. Oh, it's already fogged up. Um, anyways, I'm going to have my shower and. I will catch you guys when I am out. Ooh. You know what I said about my wind? It's back. Just needed to get this. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Last day.
Okay, well, I think it's safe to say I've never been so cold in my life up there on that mountain top with the cold winds. Those winds were horrible. In the freezing cold, that was... I've never been so cold. My hands hurt so much from that cold. But, uh, I did it. Although it wasn't much of a sunrise. Might try again tomorrow, but there's supposed to be rain coming in. And of course, I swear, every time I go camping, floods start happening somewhere. So apparently there's floods happening northwest. So probably for the best we're leaving tomorrow is the rain's coming in. But I'm uh, going to go for a drive now and check out some stuff that should be interesting. So stick around and let's go. Well, that was fun, and I'm back at the campsite now, and the best part is, the noisy neighbours that were here, they're gone. Yes! Now I'm going to go check out a waterfall, or whatever is at the end of the path I'm going down. Ooh, this looks like a nice spot. Wouldn't mind having this one either. A lot of vans left today. This is nice. Real nice spot, and the sun's trying to get through the trees as well.
apologise for the wind, there's not too much I can do about that. Have a look at this. Oh, that was nearly a catastrophe. This is the last little thing I'm doing, as tomorrow I won't be doing much, as we will be leaving. Got to be out by 10. But, um, we're going to the Fox Bar Falls. Highly recommend going to this campsite yourself. Very lovely site, nice place. There's the dam over there. I apologise if you can't hear me, it's a bit windy, but hopefully things clear up inside of here. I hope this isn't too big of a walk. I don't want to be walking for too long because it's very windy and very cold. It's not the greatest last day I was hoping for, but it'll have to do. Someone's stuff up ahead. Hat, bike, no sign of any one. There's another bike in there. I'll see what's down here. And then I guess that way. Leave my stuff there because otherwise it gets blown away in the wind. That must be the falls. Here comes the wind. Anyone's getting over to that ladder. Gets balance across there, but it seems risky. Let's go down to the falls. Lucky for me, this isn't too long of a walk. I feel this video has dragged on long enough already. And to be honest, I have had enough of wearing like about five layers of clothing and wearing the same thing every day. I can't wait to wear just one layer again. I never thought about how much more free it felt to wear. Am I going the right way? Seems a bit muddy. Guess I'll just um, trust the path. That's slowly flooding, but I've got my stick, so shouldn't be a problem. It's practically my third leg. That, to me, indicates I'm going the right way. I see water, and I'm nowhere near where those other people are, so I'm not too sure where I'm going. Trust the process. Another yellow dot, and another. Oh, this is nice. Whoa! I don't know those big boulders up there fall. I guess we're climbing. The path goes that way, but I want to see what's up there first, so... Let's go. Oh, hang on. Either it's wind or water that way. Actually, it might be wind. We'll find out. Either it's wind or a waterfall. We'll see where that path takes us. I wonder if this is connected to the giant rock on the other path. I think it might be. Oh, actually, I don't know. They are quite spaced apart. I guess we'll get up and see. Oh, it's quite the hike. I mean, hey, it's keeping me warm, I guess. Nearly there. Whew. Quite a hike. Some water going down. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it goes up higher, but I think I'm just going to leave it here. Wow. That is quite a view. Whoa, wow. Oop. Tripped on something. 
it's beautiful. Well, it's saying the falls are this way, so count me in. I think I see a bit of a water fall up ahead. Oh yeah, it's definitely something. Look at that. Now, I'm pretty sure normal people take that path, but because I'm adventurous, I take this path. I wonder who built all these walls here. I know it's part of a dam, but... Yeah, don't know. It's, yeah, it's all I've grown. It's cool. Yeah, so I just walked into the flowing water for that shot, but my boots are pretty much waterproof, so I say worth it. Okay, it seems like I'm being forced back onto the path, considering this flat trail here. I'm not the only one who's feeling a little bit adventurous. Alright, so that goes down there, so my guess is the falls are right down that way so let's go look at all the water going down there trees falling uh, I think I'll just go around it uh, a bit rocky but we are heading down here Looks like we've come up onto a bit of a rocky area. Um, it heads down there. Look at that up in the distance. That's amazing. Wow. I am loving exploring out here. Um, yes, this way. Um, it does say to go up that way, but... I'd say that's the path there. Yeah, you can see the line. It looks like it's collapsed. So I'm just gonna go down this way. Anyways, um, don't think it's a bit slippery, so just be a bit careful. Someone's made a little um, rock pile there. That's cool. And look at this. How beautiful is that? That is just incredible wow i think the falls are that way because i'm seeing the yellow lines there through the thick of the bush we go all the birds are playing tweeting along it's beautiful Oh, Mount Ferguson. Okay, so that goes up back to the summit that I was at this morning. So, this way, I think. Yeah, this looks like a very narrow path, but a path nonetheless. Sounds like I'm getting close. Feels like I'm the only person alive in the world right now. And to be honest, Quite an amazing feeling. I just feel so free. Okay, so I'm a little bit lost of where to go from here. I'm looking for yellow markers, but I'm just not seeing any. The path leads to this rock, but I don't know. I'm not seeing any markers. So I'm not too sure where I'm going, so I'm just going to take a little look around. If I can't find the markers, I'll just make my own path down there. Because that looks where I need to go. There's a big wall down there. Pipes down there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but there is a creek wall. But I'm not seeing a way down. Surely this isn't the end of the path. Hmm. This way, maybe? I'll be honest, I've got no idea where to go from here. At all. So I'm just going to try and make my own way down. Through the bush. Hopefully there's no snakes. I reckon down here should do. Nicely. Enough. 
Oh, kangaroo just spooked it. All right, it's starting to get a bit dark, so I probably want to hurry things up. But I've come across a pipe here, and it looks like a bit of a path going down here, so I'll say I'm probably not the first one to come down this way. Oh, yep, there's a rock pile over there, so maybe I am going the right way after all. Seems people have just made their own paths down. Or either the markers were destroyed, but I'm definitely not the first one down here. I'm guessing I've reached the bottom of the falls here. So my guess is the only reasonable thing to do would be to walk across. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm just holding my hat, carefully getting across because it is slippery and I don't want to fall into the freezing cold water. Let's get over this side, you can see the wall I was talking about up there. Um, how deep is this? Okay, so quite deep. Um, Alright, I think my journey stops here. I'm going to go check that quickly. See what's happening, but other than that, I think this is the end of my little waterfall journey. Ooh, getting across. Have to hold my hat because it's windy, so I can't use my stick to balance myself, but we did it. Imagine living out here. So peaceful. Just the sounds of nature. So nice. I'd love it. Alright, it looks like it goes around that way. I kind of want to know it's in there, so I'm going to go a bit further. But then I'll probably have to head back as I don't want to be caught out in the dark. Because I don't have any flashlights other than my phone. Luckily I did bring a portable charger, just in case. I know it looks like some people have walked through here before. So... I ain't the only one here. Trying to carefully tread over. I hear quite a lot of whoop, Russian water. It's coming from in here. It's down here. Wow. See, this is a lovely spot. No way. That's one of those floaty things. Must have been dragged down here in some flood. Well, this is the end of my journey, I reckon. I've definitely explored off the path. I can't imagine there's anything down this way, but I'll just check. I mean, there's another flat surface, so I guess it can't hurt to check out what's down here. Ooh. I think that's kangaroo, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, yeah, they definitely come this way, so I will just tread carefully around this area. What a beautiful spot. Absolutely stunning. But I'm going to head back now. I've seen what I wanted to see. Sun is starting to go down, got about probably two hours of sunlight left and it's a bit of a walk back. So I'm going to get going, check out that other spot on the way back that I went past where those people were and then pretty much just be going to shower and that's it for today. I won't document the trip back, you'll know I made it back safely if the video is uploaded. See you guys. I love seeing the wind blow the water over in huge waves. I wonder where that goes. Obviously I won't be finding it out, but... Oh, careful. I want to see what's in here. Ooh. Very nice. Let's not fall in.
the fact that I am just standing at the edge of this lake right now and it's barely touching me is incredible. It's so incredible I don't even know if you guys can hear me over the wind. But I'm going to head back to camp now and chill a bit um, before dark time. I'll catch up with you guys when I have a shower. Just going to get my stuff. I think this trip's been a bit too much for Beach Stick the Third here. The tip of it's all peeling off. Ah oh, well, it's fine. It's just because of this rocky terrain. time and I've never seen the kitchen area lights on. There's no one there. Odd. Definitely feels weird being in here with the light on. What's this say? Um, words of advice, I guess. Wonder if anyone's in the office still. Can't see anyone. Guess I'll go have my shower. Ah, this thing open again. Seriously? Who keeps opening that? Don't need it. And yes, I've got the one more stick here. Probably shouldn't break that. And this stuff here. Oop, I left a bit of a dirty footprint. Get that hot water running. Gonna give that a bit of a clean off because it's a bit dirty. And I'm going to uh, obviously get undressed to go in the shower and enjoy my last shower here. Yeah, it's been quite fun. Um, this soap is still there. Don't know whose that is, probably been there for, forever. But it's been fun showering in this little box for the time I've been in here. So I guess this will be a good final warm shower a little bit of a dirt coming off my bones here and the stick it should all just drain down on its own should be fine if you're curious about that lump from the end of trip 9 it's right here you can see it I guess this is goodbye. Had to open this to let some steam out, but I'll close it. It's time to say goodbye to the shower. It's been fun, but I must turn the lights off for the last time. at all. Light up the kitchen is still on. Well, 
this is it for me tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow for pack up. Hope you've enjoyed the trip and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. Well, there goes the toilet light. Guess I got everything done just in time. Today is quite the rainy day, so packing up has been a bit of a nightmare, but slowly been chipping away at it in between breaks. I'm just going to check out the lake one last time before heading off. Hopefully the roads on the way back home aren't flooded over, as that wouldn't be too ideal. Man, that rain is chilly. Oh, here comes the wind. Better hold on to my umbrella. It's pretty much about to fly away. Oh, it's really tugging it. This whole area is turned into a slosh pit. Good for pigs, if there were any. But I sure ain't a pig. Very windy. And very cold. Oh. I can barely hold on. My fingers are gonna snap in a second. Oh. I think I'm about to become Mary Poppins. Yes, get under the cover. Please, make it. Come on. Oh. That was nearly a tragedy okay let's not fly away now all right i think i've got my bearings ready to dash out to the lake and get one last good look the wind has mostly died down so just gonna pack some stuff and get going i take that back it has not died down Let's brave the winds. I'm interested to see what that waterfall looks like now after the rain. I think I'll check that out as well. All the water flowing through here. Now we might stop at a few places on the way back. I'm not sure, but I'll do a, a little back home montage before signing off but this is our last views around the campsite now to take it all in this place is beautiful now if you didn't notice down here is the spot where I've been filming most of my shots or editing or well, I edit each day in bed before I go to sleep but I've been sitting on this rock here and this is where I've been doing most of the work in between shots, just thinking about where I'm going to film next and all that stuff. I've been sitting on this rock, going around this area and just thinking of what I'm going to do next. So this area here is where I've done most of my planning and arguably spent majority of my time here. So this is my last look around. It's a nice little spot. I've enjoyed it here been very fun doing the work here all right that wind's starting to come back so I should probably hurry this up a bit slippery oh no oh. oh my umbrella's trying to take off no get back here I didn't hear the falls Oh, looks like they're really running today. Look at all the little birds over the water. They seem to be enjoying the weather. Everything's really flowing down here. There's someone driving through.
my hair keeps getting in my face. This is what it looks like for me. All right, here comes the wind again. I've got to get back under cover, get over all this flow on water. We'll take one last look at the lake over here and then I'll be signing off and leaving this campground. Probably should hurry it up because who knows if the roads will flood over. Beautiful. All right. Time to go. Take your last looks, everyone. This is your last three th 360 of the campground. Oh, here comes that cold rain again. All right, I'll talk to you guys again when I'm home. But for now, it's time to head back. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one, as I have. Alright guys, here I am. I'm home now. That trip, that trip was amazing. I really enjoy that one, but it was freezing. It was absolutely freezing. And I must say I'm quite happy to only be wearing one layer of clothing again and not like five. So um, that's a relief. Uh, I'm not too sure where Beach Stick the first went. I found one half, the one we found at the campsite, but I can't find the original half from trip seven. I think it's in my pants in the wash somewhere, so we'll just have to see if it surfaces. I'll just make a community post about it later. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. That was an amazing spot. Loved it. Good trip. But uh, I think I'll leave this one here. If you did enjoy this, do comment, do like, subscribe. It really does help. And check out my other trips. I'm sure you can find some more cool ones in there. I don't have too many up at the moment, but as the years go on, I will get more and more. And... I mean, hey, there's still a few decent ones to go look back at. And I recently have remade the first six with better audio quality, so um, that's good too. And they now match the more, the kind of template I use for each video. If you haven't noticed, I do my little intro, beautiful partner draws a little thing for it, then the vlog, the highlight stuff, all of that. Um, the first six have now been put up to scratch and remade to have that. Um, I'm not going to do trip 7 because it's a bit of a chonky one and I think it's fine how it is, it's not that big a deal. 
I might in the future, I don't know. But uh, speaking of highlights, let's get right into the highlights of this trip and then we're done for today. Ah, <sighs> if only I got another badge on this trip. Maybe the next one. Alright, highlights time. Now one of my biggest highlights for this trip was seeing the sunrise over that lake. It was an absolutely magical experience and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Reminds me of that first sunrise from trip one. Another highlight was going to see the fireworks and seeing the beautiful sunset over the lake. Truly amazing. And the last highlight was my favourite of the whole trip. And that was seeing the entire view of the country from the summit of the mountain. 100 slash 10 would 150% do again.